Our top story this morning, North Korea shot for a second attempt to launch its very first spy satellite, now only to experience yet another failure. For more, our North Korean affairs correspondent Lee Lehyun is on the line. Lehyun, tell us more about this latest launch attempt. Right, Tommy. Pyongyang's second attempt to put a satellite in orbit took place at around 3.50 a.m. on Thursday, according to the North's Korea Central News Agency. The flight's first and second stages of the rocket were normal, but during the third stage, it failed due to an error in the emergency blasting system. The North's state media said that the North Korean National Aerospace Development Administration will explain the reason for the error in a short time, adding that the third attempt will likely come in October. It also said that although it failed, the cause of the relevant accident was not a big issue in terms of the reliability of the Cascade engines and the system. Multiple Japanese news outlets said that Japan's Coast Guard had earlier presumed that the launch could have been a ballistic missile, adding that it separated into pieces which landed in the West Sea, East China Sea and the Pacific Ocean near the Philippines. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff in this statement said that it detected the rocket flying above international waters off the Korean peninsula's west coast after it launched the north is north in the area where the main space launch center is located. The official also said that it, it will continue high-intensity Seoul Washington joint military drills known as Uzi Freedom Shield while closely monitoring Pyongyang's further actions. Right, and South Korea convened a National Security Council meeting immediately. Lehan, what did they have to say about the launch attempt? That's right, Tommy. Officials from the South the Southeast Defense Ministry and other related officials attended the National Security Council meeting at around 6 a.m. Members of the council strongly condemned the launch and said that it clearly violates the U.N. Security Council resolutions. It also deplored the fact that North Korea is focusing on launching spy satellites when the majority of North Korean citizens are suffering from starvation and death. President Yoon song yeol also ordered officials to brace for any additional provocations by North Korea and to carry out what had been pledged in the Camp David trilateral summit earlier, such as sharing missiles alert information in real time, strengthening defense ties for mis missile provocations, and regularizing trilateral military drills. The council also agreed that Pyongyang should be made to pay a price for carrying out the launch. U.S. officials also agreed that the failed launch is a violation of the U.N. Security Council resolutions, adding that it still pursues dialogue without preconditions with North Korea. That's all I have for this hour, but I'll be back with more updates in a later newscast. Tommy? Right. That was our Lee Dae-han covering the North Korea's second attempt to launch its first by satellite, launching it from North Korea's Dongchang-ri. Thank you, Lee Dae-han.